Hello, good morning guys and welcome again to our PFSense how to video series and for today's video I will show you how to block YouTube website and our network so I already have my PFSense here up and running and I al we already have the video on how to install and set up PFSense in our previous video series so the installation process won't be included in this video so we will be using uh, now the PFSense and OpenDNS uh, for our uh, objective or for our goal which is to block YouTube website in our network. So PFSense and with the help of OpenDNS. So first let me show you that I can access YouTube website. So as you can see, I can access YouTube and our goal is to block our access in this website in YouTube. So first, what we have to do is to create an account in OpenDNS. So we have to register. <coughs> so just go to their website, select Personal, Parental Controls, and sign up for free. So we got a form here that <coughs> we need to fill up. So we have email, password, and some questions. So the important thing here is to provide or to in enter a valid email address because uh, later OpenDNS will send you e an email to confirm your registration. So remember that to provide or to enter a valid email address, an email that uh, you are able to access. Okay, so once you are done, just click continue. <clears throat> and here, our next step is to uh, change our DNS into open DNS IPs or name servers. Okay, so since we are using uh, PFSense, so we have to change the DNS server in our PFSense. So let's go in our PFSense GUI and let's uh, go here in our system general setup. So I have here my DNS server. So I have 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. So uh, all I have to do is to change that into this one. So I'll just copy, paste, and another one copy and paste so gateway one dash cp okay so that's all we need to do in our pfsense uh, side so just change the dns server into open dns so once you are done don't forget to click save okay then let's check our email so we got here open DNS confirmation uh, email so like I said earlier in our registration so we have to provide a valid email address because we have to confirm our registration so I just have to click this link to confirm my registration Okay, so my registration is confirmed and this is my OpenDNS dashboard. So what's important to see here is to this uh, IP above here. So this is your IP. So it automatically detects your IP in your, of your network. Then we have add a network here. 
So this is our next step to add a network. So it automatically fills in our IP address above. But if so happen that it's just a blank fields, then you have to type manually your IP here. So what you see here above, uh, what what is your IP here? That's the one you have to enter in this uh, section or in this field. So that will be 223, 25, 10, 129. Then click this button, add this network. Okay, so give give it a friendly name. So let's say my network. And yes, it is dynamic. <coughs> mm -hmm. So actually, we can download this one to uh, update our. Uh, network into our open dns account but this time i just uh, skip this one okay so once you are done just click this button done and you are you have successfully added the network then let's go back here in this uh okay so we have to test our settings so here, click here to test your settings. So it says success, you are now using OpenDNS. So we have successfully configured our network with our PFSense and OpenDNS. Okay, so our next step this time, uh, we have it all set up. So it's time to for some filtering. So this time we uh, will try to block our access in YouTube or filter the uh, YouTube access. So let's log in again. Okay, so here, just select your network, and we have here our web content filtering. So we have high filter level, moderate, low, none, and custom uh, filtering level. So for this video, I just want to show you how to block YouTube. So I should go here in high, and I want to customize the filtering. So you can see here some categories and all the check categories are the categories that you want to block or you want to be filtered. So we have different categories here. So you can check or uncheck. Uh, podcast, I want to block podcast. Webmail, no, I don't want to block webmail, so I should uncheck that one. And movies, yes, I want to filter movies. <coughs> Music, radio, television, okay. So this is all the the categories that I want to block or I want to be filtered. So once you are done with the uh, choosing categories to be filtered, just click apply. It says setting save, but please allow three minutes. So we have to wait for at least three minutes. Okay, so. Let's uh, let's test. <coughs> let's try to access YouTube.com. So we still uh, able to access YouTube. So I guess I have to pause 
this uh, recording because we have to wait at least three minutes so that the configuration and changes uh, will take effect so I just pause this video for a while and we'll be back later okay hi guys we are back and I can't wait for three minutes okay so I found here some troubleshooting or some guy that would will help us so clearing the DNS cache on computers and web browsers so I think we have to do this first just to make sure that everything will work so we are using Chrome So we just have to clear our browsing history and clear password, form data, hosted app. Okay, clear. Next, we have to clear our. Uh -huh. Since we are using a Linux base, so I have to also clear I just have to copy this one paste oops so it doesn't recognize the command let's try this one since Zoran is open to base okay okay so we are done with the clearing of DNS cache so let's try again to access YouTube <coughs> okay so one last thing that uh, we should try so we already uh, clear our browsing history we already flash our DNS cache so last thing is to reboot our pfSense So our PFSense is restarting right now so we just have to wait okay so just be patient guys you we can't uh, have it or we can't uh, have it done or successfully in the first time or the second attempt first attempt second attempt so we have also to troubleshoot and be patient so I think this is the last uh, troubleshooting that we have to do. The, we have to restart PFSense. So let's just wait for a while. So while waiting, I just want to say thank you guys for supporting my blog and my YouTube channel. Thank you for liking my videos subscribing to my channel and sharing also my videos so and, and i hope you continue to do so continue to support my blog and my youtube channel thank you again guys Okay, so we have PFSense back. Just a refresh. Mm -hmm. Let's check again our DNS so it is correct. Okay, so let's uh, clear our browsing history again. And let's try to 
open YouTube and this should be black right now then I told you guys okay so <laughs> we have successfully black YouTube uh, with the use of pfSense and open DNS as you can see here so this domain is blocked due to content filtering so actually we, you can customize this uh, page this blocking page here so you can put your own logo here you can put your own message here and you can create actually your own uh, contact form okay so YouTube was black in the video sharing category okay so where's the video sharing category here yeah okay so <clears throat> I think that's all for this video so we have successfully block youtube.com with the help of pfSense and open DNS so thank you for watching guys and uh, I hope you continue to support my YouTube channel and my blog thank you for watching and until next time until the our next video thank you